among all the things that a church ought to be for its people, hospital, sanctuary, refuge. A church ought to be a school, yes? A place where we can learn. It should be a, a teaching center. I hope for our church that we become a teaching center. People will look to us and look to the website and, and look to you to, to learn how to grow in spiritual knowledge. Is the teaching all on the pastor, though? You're not answering very enthusiastically. No. Yes, there's, 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 there's wisdom, there's instruction, there's balance that I can provide for my training and my experience. But friends, I look out at this room right now, there's so much untapped wisdom and knowledge sitting right here in these pews. It blows me away. Some of you who have been married 30 or 40 years, you should be inviting the younger married couples over and getting to know them, having dinner with them, sharing stories with them. Just having conversation about what, is, what it is. How did you, how did you survive uh, all those years? Tell me your secret. What's the secret sauce to marriage? I don't know. Good luck. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's mentors in this room filling this place. And there's a lot of young people out there who are going to be coming into this church and they're going to be hearing what's going on. And you need to connect with those young people. Some of you have great experience in the business world and, and in finance. You know what? Do you think everybody out there manages money well? Does becoming a Christian automatically allow you to manage money well? No. no. They need to be taught. You should be doing the teaching. If God's given you a gift, if He's given you expertise in this area, bring them under wing. Some of you have suffered incredible tragedy in your life, incredible hardship in your life. And here you are still. You're here worshiping Jesus. How is that even possible? Well, you have a story to tell. You have lives to impact, to say, hey, I've been there. I suffered this. Here's my story. But I experienced the faithfulness of my Savior. It wasn't easy. It didn't happen overnight. But you're going to get through this. Let me come alongside you and pray for you. And I'll be there for you whenever you need to talk. No, in fact, most of the teaching, my friends, shouldn't happen just in this moment. This is 30 or 40 minutes. Most of the teaching should be taking place right there. And I'll do everything in my power to see that you are unleashed. And that will be the next section we get to in a month or so. To see that that power, that wisdom that God has given you is shared.